Hello everyone, this is Cypherdeck, and today we're back in EverQuest Project 1999, and I am with Mr. AC Gamer. Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of EverQuest. So, here we are, we're in Kithikor Forest, we're about to help with getting a rogue epic. Um, I was contacted by AC that uh, this individual needed help. Go ahead and give them uh, some more information that way uh, they know who we're here for. Uh, this is a, a fellow streamer, Hatsuma. He's been streaming for quite some time, guys. And, uh, you know, we grouped with him a couple of times already, uh, actually just over in uh, Soul B the other night. And then he rezzed us today earlier when we had somewhat of a little tiny wipe uh, in that exact same zone. So uh, when we found out that he needed some help to kind of uh, get a piece for his epic that he's been trying to get... Uh, you know, we kind of felt uh, obligated to come out and uh, join them for a little bit and uh, see if we could help out. So, yeah, we are about to spawn the general. I've never done this fight, but Cypher says he's done this one quite a few times. In fact, uh, what did you say, like seven times in one night? It was uh, six six times in one night. We probably, pretty much what happened is there was an open um, thing that was happening in the zone where I think a guild had come here to do the epic for one of their people, and they decided to actually stay. The whole guild did, and we were able to get six epics. I think it was four of the um, Kazik Quills, and so it was it was a pretty cool little event that they held at the time. And the fact that we're here again, is, it's kind of nice. I like doing this. I'm going to have to do it again anyway, uh, so that I can help uh, Chupa get his epic whenever uh, I get the book from Plane of Hate. But yeah, it's, I, I like doing this just because this is one of those things that the rogue epic isn't that hard other than, say, getting the book because it does have a spawn timer. But... If you have the community come out and help you, you can get this fight done on any bard. It's it's just really cool that uh, we have a streamer who is uh, getting their epic and we're able to just come out and help them uh, because of the fact that we're, we have open channels with them, and this is pretty cool. Well, you know, I, I've been here before to help out a few guildmates, but I never actually uh, got to see the fight from... A useful point of view. It's always been I'm like the fourth or fifth healer in the background, and I don't even cast one spell before the mob dies because you got like 50, 60 people. So to be the one of the two healers that are actually uh, sea healing on the main uh, main tank is kind of a new deal for me. It's kind of a change. Yeah. And we're going to see how it goes. Now, I set up the uh, sea heal rotation with another cleric, and he wasn't sure either what the delay should be. So his uh delay had already been set to 110. What? 110? What? <laughs> yeah, that's what his delay was already no. set to no, from a previous be, uh, encounter. It should be 40. 40. All right, well, let, yes. me, uh, let me let him know. Um, let, me, let me tell you, it may even have to be faster because while the SK is higher level, he is still considered a paper tank versus a, a, a true warrior. And if Kings was higher level... Uh, Kings would actually be the tank, and we would be able to do this faster. That said, I've seen this done with a level 60 warrior, and that warrior wiped. <laughs> and that meant that uh, we all wiped because of the warrior uh, dying. And it was because of the fact that there was too slow of heals, or something ended up happening along those lines. It's definitely important to make sure that he is healed non-stop during the whole fight and the fact that you have a shaman here which i don't know what his level is uh let's see if we can check more tis they're 54 so they don't have torpor so while they're going to be able to help you with heals they're not going to be able to give you that torpor to, um to do that backup um regeneration that whole time we do have several people here, though, that we have a, a 60 Druid. We do have the 54 Shaman, both of you Clerics as well. And we do have a good amount of DPS, even though I can't see them at the moment. Uh, they're hovering, it seems like, up top. 
but yeah, we are we should have the ability to do this. It, it shouldn't be a problem. It just make we got to make sure that we're doing as much healing as much GPS and All right, this, go dead fast. This looks like he is uh, incoming. Okay. Yes. I'm gonna go ahead is. and duck. Just start get that healing on them. Yep. Yep. We already started the sea heal rotation. Uh, they probably should have waited for him to get some more aggro. But that's all right. Let's see, I'm gonna be doing drought of fire the whole time. And I'm starting now that he's below that first ten percent. He's gonna die. Yep, he's the dead. Shot, yeah, I kind of pick up on the kings. All right, see who rotation starting a king. Oh, he's on me. He's on me. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I started casting too early. All right, see who rotation. Let me know how it ends up going. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing not going to be the greatest. Yep, Kings is down. Um, who would be next? Uh, that's it. it. We're all dead. It's 10 p.m., so we still have some time before it's going to be daylight. Yeah, three minutes, I believe, per hour in game. Oh, is it? Yeah, I think that's how it works. So, you know, it's not too long to wait for a day-night cycle, but it's not too short either. Yeah. So, back in the day when you had to wait for the darkness to go away because it was so pitch black, you couldn't see where you were going. It was a good 15, 20 minutes while you sat there and wait if you got there at just, like, the worst time possible right as it got dark, you know? Yeah. Otherwise, you know, like five minutes while you're sitting there. Enough time for other people to kind of congregate. Everybody's buffing each other up because why not? you got the extra mana to spare. Uh, you could ask a druid who's sitting right there for Spirit of Wolf. And then you'd all leave right as it starts to get, you know, daylight. And it looks like he's pulling it now. So uh, let's go ahead and concentrate and get back onto uh, the sea hill rotation here in just a few seconds, guys. Yep. All right, here they come. Here comes Josiah. comes his pet. Oh, he's dead. I don't even need to cast on some of this stuff. There's the general. How's it going this time? Yeah, it looks like it's going okay. All right, here we go. What's his life at? Uh, it's sixty something at the moment. Uh, Cloud has his pet on him, forty-eight. All right, this, uh, this looks like it's going pretty well. Still at 50% uh, mana. Uh, yeah, I'm at 53% mana, and he is down to what on the 18%. HP? 18%. Yeah, this is done. <laughs> I wouldn't easy say peasy. That. I wouldn't say that until it's done. It's it, we we're gonna totally jinx it, guys. This is done. It's finished. Finito. <laughs> easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I think he's running now, though. So that is that is done. And he's dead. Boom. Oh. <laughs> Somebody died just running by. I guess he uh, he got hit somehow. So I wanted to take this time real quick just to congratulate Hayatsuma. He is a great streamer. Definitely check him out. I'll put his information in the description below. All right. I think we're going to go ahead and end the video there then. Hopefully everyone enjoyed. This has been Cypher Day. I'm AC Gamer.
and we will see you next time. Peace.